Um, why is mental health stigmatized? In the minority community, mm -hmm. you were considered crazy. And yeah. who doesn't have that crazy auntie or uncle, right? Yeah. But, you know, as a perf mental health professional, um, we now know that, or I now know that, these are undiagnosed people struggling with, yes. you know, deeper issues. I mean, I think back to childhood and all the family members that were considered, like I said, crazy or weird or don't go around them. Mm. I now have a term for whatever they were dealing with, you know. What's so, that term? Um, I know some were bipolar. I know some were schizophrenic, Got you it. know. There's levels to those as well. Um, and, you know, you didn't go to the therapy or the counselor because you were considered crazy. Yeah. And so that's my opinion of why the minority community specifically strays from yeah. mental health. I think from my experience when, well, back in the day, before I even started this journey, mm -hmm. myself personally, when I would hear the word mental health, mm -hmm. I automatically assumed or associated illness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now after, you know, studying herbs and anatomy and things like that, it's every everybody, it's health. Right. Just like right. gut health yeah. or skin health. You do your skin routine. The brain yes. is a part of our makeup. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not about having an illness. It's just the overall health. The right. overall. And we shouldn't have to wait until it becomes ill yeah, to absolutely. take care of it. Yes. Just like you go to your, your primary doctor, your mm -hmm. dentist, your gynecologist, yes. your OBG. It's the you, same thing. You have to, right. you're, it's a brain. It's, I mean, it's a muscle. You have to yes. exercise it. And I mm -hmm. feel like if people understood that more and looked at it for mental health comes from the brain, that's brain health, neuro. Mm -hmm. I think it's more accepted than ever. Yes, definitely. It's mm -hmm. more talked about than ever. It's more, I mean, because I know I'm inundated. I know all my fellow therapists are inundated. I know my personal therapist is inundated. So I think COVID was one of those things that like pushed pushed it more into full gear yeah. of, you know. Because it made us all sit still, and that's mm -hmm. when it's all coming to the surface. And so many people were, you know, not okay and still yeah. not okay, and I think for years to come will not be okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're cleansing it out. We're cleaning the wound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about you, Yayizi? What are your thoughts on the stigmatized mm -hmm. mental Even health? Even with something simple as, like, anxiety, you're considered being dramatic. Ooh. I used to get that a lot. Oh, you're just being dramatic. Even when I have my heart palpitations, like I get um, panic uh, oh, attacks. So yeah. I have like a panic disorder and I mentioned it before and I never really um, like try to see what was going on with me because I was told that maybe you're just being a little dramatic. Well, maybe you need to sit your ass down somewhere. Yeah. Ah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. that uh, things with ADHD, especially in our community, ADHD, you no, know, it just means that you're bad as hell. And you need your ass beat. Right. That right. was, you that know was what my mean? experience. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's, those are ways that it can be stigmatized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I Absolutely. agree. Mm -hmm. um, what effect? Hey y'all! Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> if you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. Come back, watch any of these clips. We got them for days. Yes. Hope to see you soon. Make sure you check out that full episode too.